Journey is a registered trademark of Sony Computer Entertainment America LLC. Copyright 2012. Welcome back gamers, this is Vivi of the M9, it's the only M9 on YouTube, and today, in the White Knight Chronicles, we are in the temple. Ow. Just hit the desk, that's good. <laughs> so the cool thing about this area is, there's really no enemies, and it's just a fun area to kind of explore. Um, if you're not using a white cloak, uh, you don't really have to worry about like not really having magic um, because really the entire area is going to be filled with this magical light so you'll never really run out so from the first mural and these murals do not count towards um, the uh, trophy requirement. The first glyph that you'll find is over here. So there's the mural. Literally, if you go to that first platform, you can hit this one real quick. From here, if you need to, you can always just cry out and bring you forward. I'm not going to do that because I've got, got my white cloak. We'll let the let our friend catch up. Um, keep in mind that when you're traveling with somebody, uh, to you know, kind of always keep an eye on them. Oh, what the heck, dude! You need to call out too, good. Okay, so, in other words, bear in mind that you will try to keep your partner with you and around, and uh, that's all fine and dandy, um, but he has to also, like, keep these kinds of things in mind. That's the one thing, so honestly, that game company created this game to have this kind of blind um, sense of uh, journeying and, and completing a journey with a partner, but not in a competitive way. That doesn't mean that you won't feel some frustrations if your partner is kind of just doing things randomly and willy-nilly. <clears throat> so from here, you want to follow up the jellyfish, but there is something else to get. And let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, nope, it's around the other side. So keep floating up and floating up and floating up and floating up and there. <clears throat> now where is he? He's not paying attention. Okay. <laughs> you can literally walk through the middle of this area or just go right around. But there is a glyph to get. Where are you? He's below me. Okay. You want to fly out over here. to this place, and there's a glyph behind here. Where are you? He's not paying attention. Alright, well. Once you get this one, that's the second of, I believe, four in the area. Where is he? There he is. Now 
Nope, he's just not going to pay attention. Oh dear. And he just activated the glyph without me. That poop. So one of the things to notice is there, and it's easier to see from the platform. A whale will actually swim out of an opening. You want to go through this area. So here's the opening. Is this guy following me? Where's the kid? Alright, well, I'm not gonna bother wasting my time. Here is the one and only mural that you'll need to activate that will count towards activating the frescoes. And then to the left, you'll see these hanging, hanging scarves. You'll want to go through and behind this first scarf, and behind that first pillar is the glyph. Then scoop iron on through, and then, I believe, is it down is it through here? I'm not even sure. No, up in the next area. So now you can literally like hop on to him and he will rise up and out and take you wherever you need to go. There's a glyph in this gateway. So you can grab that. It's right across from the thing. If you don't have the magic, you could try and hitch the ride, heal up on, on the whale, and then use him kind of as a bridge. Looks like I lost my little partner, but that's okay. Oh, man. Alright. This will lead you to a little platform. We'll coast along. Oh, there he is. Now there is one more trophy to collect, but we'll activate this, it'll be easier to get after. So I'll do that. Oh, oops, I forgot about that. And that's the end of everything that you can really activate. But you actually want to float down. I know this seems counterintuitive, but you're going to want to go straight down once you've activated all of these. And the reason being, these little archways that go between, there's actually something to get way down here, but it's only available once you've activated everything else. In this first gateway area, you'll see this guy. He'll interact with you. And this is the homage to Flo, the first game that that game company put out on the PlayStation Network, their first, um, not requested, I don't know if you'd say requested game, but uh, uh, contracted, that's the word I was looking for, the first contracted game uh, that this company made when they signed 
after their initial inception. Alright. Oh, looks like the guy is waiting. Oh no, maybe that was just the light of this. Okay. So here we are back at the at the where we were, so that's the last thing that we activated. Come up here. Give us a call. There is one thing to note, um, the mural will change depending on whether or not you've been traveling alone or traveling with someone. Um, and even if you activate, it, I think it's linked to whether or not you activate this final statue as a team or as a single player. Now, if you have not gathered all of the glyphs up to this point, um, you will not activate the Transcendence uh, trophy. This is literally the last area that you will find any glyphs. There will be a few more murals to get uh, along the way, um, but really there's nothing else collectible to get. So if you've reached this point on your second walkthrough with it um, and haven't gotten all of the glyphs, you'll have to go back and, and try and get it the other ones. So with that, um, that was the temple. I love this place. I mean, just look at it. It's so pretty. And uh, looks like there's oh, maybe somebody... Looks like there's someone ahead of me. Maybe there. Oh yeah, they're waiting. Alright, uh, so if you liked it, found it informative, give me a, a thumbs up comment below, and as always, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my current walkthroughs as they come out, and I'll see you later.